Good morning guys, today we are back to do another cash stuffing. So as always, we are going to start off with my change. I do work as a server, so at the end of the night or day, I do not turn in any of my change and I just keep it so I can put it in my jar. All right, so starting off with silver, we've got a little bit here. I did work a lot less this past week. My income, uh, like, Money-wise is a little lower because I was working on my boxes and everything like that. So let's move on to pennies. I do sell these mini envelopes in my shop as well. As well as the tip tracker that I use. So that is the change. Let's get started. Okay, so I don't have any tins, but I have a feeling I'll be able to switch them out to get some later. So that's why I left a space. But I did take out my envelopes out of my wallet this time to hopefully help. So personal is going to get $10. And I really don't know how much is in each one of these. So, oh, I am loaded on my personal. I'm going to put back the 10 and grab a 20. So we have 65 in personal. Eating out is going to get five as well, which I see a five, so we'll be able to grab that 10 again. And these ones will go in my $1 savings challenge. So we have one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna set these just right here because I know I have a couple other ones in here. So I'm gonna put five, I'm, and I, am I okay? I'm actually gonna leave these as two fives because I probably will need that 10. So, eating out is now at 10. Groceries is also going to get 10. Let's see what we have in here. I like the mini envelopes, I just don't like that the money's folded, but it's okay. So we have more ones to add to our $1 challenge. And we're gonna add 10 in here, so I'm gonna grab this 10. So you have 20, 40, 50, 55 for groceries. And gas is going to get five. So we have a 10 in there, and we'll add five, which gives us 15. All right, so that is it for my wallet. Moving on to sinking funds. Oh, I guess we could count these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that we're gonna be adding to our $1 challenge. Okay, so sinking funds, baby as always gets three. One, two, three. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and two. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, 10, 20. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 0, 02. Okay. Car is not going to get stuffed, and it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200. I plan on taking my car to get an oil change tomorrow. So we'll see if that happens. Gifts is going to get 25. This is also my Christmas fund as well. Let's see, we have five, 10, 20. My money piles just get messier and messier with, without the video. Okay, so we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320 for gifts. I don't really have a goal for gifts. This is also my Christmas and I don't really have a goal for it. So we're just moving along. House is going to get $5. House is at 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. Okay, 
Mike is not getting stuffed and he has 150 still. Pets are going to get a 20. Which brings pets to 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 55. So 155. Retirement will get its normal $2. And that brings us to 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, and 72. Spending is not getting stuffed and it still has $10 in there. Wedding is going to get $20. I'm going on our bachelorette trip, not ours, my friend's bachelorette trip this weekend and this is where my spending money and everything like that will come from. So wedding has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 45, 50. 250, was that right? 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 45, 50. Yes, 250. Okay, vacation is going to get $10. And that brings vacation to 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. Super excited about this envelope. Okay, moving along to my miscellaneous binder. Again, we are going to skip flooring and I think our plans have changed with the fence. I think we might wait until spring and get our new couch first. So we'll see where that lands. So skip, skip. One dollar challenge had seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, and so the rubber band part is the 50. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 59 in our one dollar challenge. For 52 weeks, as always, we stuff $53. We will go to my savings challenge. Hopefully I filled this out last week. <laughs> and I always forget if I do or not. So we stuff $53 because I do the challenge forwards and backwards. So we've got 50, one, two, three. And I believe this is still 1500. So 1500, 600, ah, we'll set that aside. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, nope, I need this. So we have 15, 16, 17, 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 15, 16, 17, 18, 02. Now I'm gonna do my math real quick to make sure I did this right. 1749 plus 53, $1,802, how crazy. I have no idea what I will use this for, um, but I do get that question a lot, and I do not know. So we are just going to see what happens and what I'll use it for. So let's go back. That's so crazy. And I did not get any $2 bills this week. And lastly, we have our 
100 envelope box which you guys sold me out in one day and I had 100 of these listed. It still blows my mind to this day and I literally cannot thank you guys enough. I will be releasing more if you guys want more so let me know um, what you guys want and I will do what you guys want for sure. But this week we are going to pull one envelope just because my income was so low. I'm not going to do the 50 since my income was super low. We'll do 15. That's smart. So we'll stuff 15. And I do get questions like how I label mine. Mine are just labeled with the numbers 10, 15, and 50. There is 20 envelopes labeled 50 and then 40 labeled 15 and 40 labeled 10 and it will come out to $2,000. So that is that challenge for this week. And then this money here will get deposited and stay in my checking account as a buffer. And yeah, that is it for this week. I hope to see you guys next week. Bye guys.